What's up guys, this is Chronic Rush and welcome to episode 21 of my FIFA 14 Road to Gold Around the World series and welcome back guys and um, this episode, I'm not too, well this video, I'm not too sure when it's actually coming out because I'm doing the recording before I go on holiday um, during the October half term between the 25th of October to the about 2nd of November I do believe. Um, I'm not too sure I can get this video out before or it's going to be coming out after but um, last episode we finished off with, um, sorry we need one more win I think um, to go and win the division with this SPL squad and then we go into the cup but um, if this episode is done before the 25th and you haven't seen any videos for about a week, the main reason is because I'm obviously on holiday and I can't upload any, don't have any internet or anything accessed like that. Um, so that's just a quick rundown. I think I talked about that in episode 20 last episode. We go into this first division game here of this episode and come up against this Ghanaian squad here um, with Ruffia in goal there. And um, very, very pacey squad indeed, actually. I wasn't looking forward to it. Hopefully, they, I was just hoping they weren't the paciest of players possible. Um, because I know there's some very, very placey players indeed. Um, especially the centre-backs. We've got Vorsa and Boy there. Some very pacey players. But so we go into the fifth minute here. Good Willie picks the ball up from the outside of the box. Does some nice work to get into the box. And a very, very nice tidy shot indeed to make it 1-0 in the 6th minute. They move all the way to the 16th minute. He does a through ball in to Bakoya here. Very, very pacey player indeed. And uh, he runs all the way down to the left-hand side here and uh, wins this ball here. Cuts that back in to Michael Essien. And uh, good old days there. Scoring the outside of the box there. Shots. Very, very nice finish from him indeed to make that 1-1. They move to the 34th minute here. And over the top ball in to Kevin Prince Boateng here. Very, very nice tackle there from our player. And uh, we're going to go on the attack here. Through ball over the top into David Goodwillie. Very, very nice control there. Cuts it inside and just very, very nice finish to make that 2-1 in the 37th minute there. Move to the 39th minute here. Uh, cross comes in and he heads that to go and save that to make that a corner there. More growth here. Whips this corner in. And I do believe... Um, Hutchinson is on the end of this to go and score. But it comes off the back of Berichter there. And he goes and um, gets the goal, should I say, to make that 3-1. Then move all the way to the end of the game. And 3-1 was the final result of this game. Very, very nice game. And we've won the division as well as the coin total, which is very nice indeed. That is what I wanted. And um, we are now going to be moving on to the cup here. Um, as you can see here, we've got, um, I think that is Ledley fairly low on fitness. So, uh, um Hopefully we can do fairly decently in this cup, like better than the division. Yes, we did win the division, but uh, we really could have won it about two episodes ago because um, we just went on an extremely long losing slash drawing streak. But come against this BPL slash Celia, really, really nice worked um, hybrid squad, should I say. And uh, in the 24th minute here, we go for a way wide shot there, bounces straight back out to Berichter, who... Um, Bad, bad shot at the end of that, but uh, keeper saves that, and um, he goes on the attack here. Nice work from Ledley. Unfortunately, Benteke picks the ball up, and what a fantastic through ball into Charles Nogzombia. One on one with the keeper. He's going to score these any day. Goes for the near post blast into the roof of the net to make it 1-0 in the 27th minute. Then move all the way to the 60th minute here, and... Um, we pick this ball up in the defence. Unfortunately, a bad pass from myself there. Podolski, a through ball in to Benteke. Morgrove, what was he doing? He's not going to try and outstrength Benteke, or is he? And he whips that cross in to Di Natale, who heads that in to make it 2-0 in the 63rd minute there. Then move into the 90th minute here, and Berichter picks up this ball from a through ball and um, goes all the way down to the baseline, whips this across, uh, cuts inside here, and Berichter blasts that into the right-hand corner to make that 2-1 just for a consolation goal, hopefully giving us a chance. But the game went and ended, and we were straight out of that gold cup. We just went in, and um, this guy had a better team, a very well-worked team as well in terms of uh, chemistry and stuff like that. And um, that is the end of the SBL squad. Just have a quick rundown of the players. Scott Brown, two goals, one assist. Puki, two goals, two assists. Um, Mulgrove there picking up two assists. Um, Forrest, two assists, five, uh, two goals, five assists, sorry. Um, I think that was, um, oh, who was he? I can't think of the name. Uh, Goodwillie there, I think picking up eight, no, Berichter picking up eight goals and two assists. Berichter being a very, very good, solid player indeed for this squad. And uh, I definitely recommend picking him up if you guys are looking for a left-sided player and don't have the coins to pick up, um, what's he called, James for, um, sorry, um, Samplas, Samaras or um, Gary McKay, Mackay Stevens, sorry. Um, but uh, that means we're going to be moving on to the Barclays Premier League. And I'm actually going to leave that to the next episode. Um, and uh, we're just going to have a quick rundown in um, 
Um, um, what's it called? Uh, just, uh, I'm just having a quick talk. That was what I was trying to get out of my mouth. Um, but guys, um, like I said, this episode, I'm not too sure if it's going to be before or after my holiday. But uh, I hope all of you have had a good period of weeks. Um, um, hopefully, thank you all much for the support on these episodes. I've been spamming out this FIFA 14 episodes. And uh, we're about... This about a month in now, FIFA 14 coming up to a month in, and um, I think so far the game is fairly solid. Um, there are some still um, things that need to be sorted out. Yes, it's changed. Um, uh, near post isn't as OP, but uh, finesse shots are ridiculously OP now. Um, also, crossing, that's fairly OP as well, and... Um, so far, I think it's a fairly solid game so far. Um, I like how they uh, implemented the chemistry styles. Um, you don't need to buy players' information now, but the chemistry styles are um, fairly solid. I still need to try and work them out as well um, and uh, try and use them as well. So uh, that should be um, fairly exciting when we go into the BPL because I'm going to be moving. Um, bit, I will be moving on to the BPL after this, and then after the BPL, I'll be moving on to the French leagues and stuff like that. Um, but um, chemistry styles should be fairly interesting to see how they actually have an effect on the players there. Um, I haven't really used them at all in this series um, other than buying the occasional player with a chemistry style still on them. But uh, hopefully when we go to the BPL I'll buy some more players with chemistry styles and stuff like that and also apply them because I don't think they're that expensive and especially when I've got a decent amount of coins. So um, and that should be fairly interesting to see how they play into effect. Also I like the uh, fact that... Uh, They've increased the number of formations by a ridiculous amount. You've got also variations and stuff like that, which is fairly nice. I felt sometimes I was lacking. Um, Formation-wise, I'm not too sure what one's the strongest so far. 4-1-4-1 was fairly solid um, in terms of midfield. If you've got a fairly solid defence. But I felt I was re um, wasn't as attacking. I didn't have as much attack support. So that could be the only downfall. Um, same with the 4-5-1. You've got different variations of that one this year. But again, that's not the um, most attacking formation. And 4-3-3, uh, three, three, you need to really think about work rates, um, especially in the wingers and stuff like that. Because uh, if you don't have um, a high attack and work rate and stuff like that on the wingers or just high and low, um, I feel like high and low is probably the best or high and medium because uh, that means they're just up the field. You've got the three midfielders to cover as well as the three wingers up front. So you've got very, very nice attacking support. Um, which um, I felt I was lacking during this SPL squad. Um, I just didn't feel as attacking on the wings. I didn't feel I had much support and it felt like I was just having trying to go for solo runs, um, especially when I was like um, coming up and attacking with our striker. But guys, this is coming to the end of the episode. If you'd like to send me that like button, also remember to subscribe to stay tuned to the series and thank you all for the so much decent support and all of the decent feedback in the comments, guys. And guys, this is the end of the episode. This has been Crush. Till next time, adios.